election judges have an equal role in handling the polling places. So if you get into a disagreement with the one election judge, you may respectfully ask all of the judges to take a vote on a point of order. But please remember that the election judges must attend to the voters first. You may come and go quietly from the polling place once you have given the judges your credentials and you may substitute in for another poll watcher in the polling place if you both have credentials. Please but do not talk on your cell phone in the polling place. Put your phone on vibrate and answer all calls from outside the polling place. You may not take a photograph in the polling place and you must not take any photos of voters nor can you stand close enough to see voters voting. So please stay clear of the voting booths while voters are there and stay at least five feet away from the touchscreen machines and the scanners when voters are present. So what should you be watching out for? <coughs> if you arrive before the polls open, check that the ballot scanner shows zero votes cast. Check that the ballot box is empty. Check that the touchscreen uh, zero tape shows no votes cast. Check that the voting booths do not have any party-specific uh, ballot, sample ballots, or other candidate-specific um, material stuck in the sides of the voting booths. Just prior to the opening of the polls, check that the red seals on the voting equipment and the ballot box are closed and not broken. If you see something, then say something to an election judge. If you are in the polling place while voters are present, Check that each voter in Chicago signs a ballot application, or if in Cook County, that they sign the label book. Check that the number of ballot applications in Chicago, or ballot labels in Cook County, is equal to the number of ballots cast on the optical scan machine, added to the touchscreen ballots cast, added to the provisional ballots cast. Check that the election judges at the e poll book station are trying to locate the voters who say they are registered in that precinct. This will involve checking for variations of the spelling of the voter's name and possibly clicking on multiple screens to do a citywide search in Chicago or a countywide search in Cook County. Provisional ballots should only be given when a voter does not have two pieces of ID, one which shows their current address, or if the voter is in the wrong precinct. But if the voter is in the wrong precinct for their address and they vote on a provisional ballot, it will not be counted. So the voter should strongly be encouraged by the judges to go to their correct precinct. In effect, the judges should give the voters their address for their correct precinct. Because we have same-day registration in Illinois at every polling place, the numbers of provisional ballots should be very small in every precinct. Voters who wish to register or change their address or their name merely have to fill out the correct forms right there in the polls and should be given a regular ballot if they have the correct two pieces of ID. Provisional ballots, <coughs> excuse me, Provisional ballots should be less than approximately five to six per precinct. If you have to ask the judges how many provisional ballots they have given out and they say something greater than five to six, then there might be a very serious problem with either the equipment or the training of the judges. It will be a clue to you to watch the e-poll book station closely. In Chicago, check that the provisional ballots are placed in the provisional envelopes and not erroneously slipped through the optical scanners. In Cook County, all provisional voters vote on the touchscreen machines. A list of acceptable IDs can be found on page 63 of the Chicago Election Judge Handbook and on page 80 of the Cook County Election Judge Handbook. Another thing that poll watchers can do throughout the day when the voters are not using the voting booths, is to make a quick walk behind the voting booths looking for electioneering material. If you find any, please ask the election judges to remove it. It's best to be in your polling place when it closes at 7 p.m. That way you can ask for a copy of the consolidated results tape. You may need to wait until several copies have been printed first for the Board of Elections paperwork 
if the judges tape one to the wall, you can take a picture of it, but the tape itself is more useful. When you get home, please take a picture of this poll tape and email it to us, to us at cleancountcookcounty at gmail.com with the city, ward and precinct clearly identified. And send us your contact information as well. Thanks. In Chicago, check that uh, Form 80 has been completed by the election staff. And take a quick picture of it if you can. And in Cook County, check to see that the statement of ballots has been completed. And take a quick picture of that as well. Email both of these pictures to us at our email, cleancountcookcounty at gmail.com. Good luck on Election, election Day. Day.